Hi everybody, this is Elizabeth Fox. Today I wanted to talk about old school times back in the 1982-1939. Well, back in the old days, there was Melinda Warren and Tom Brown. Tom Brown was one of the first white supremacists of the United States. He was mainly known for being a politician and he was known as the white man amongst the natives. I know this all sounds very racist, but, you know, sometimes race is important. You know, things that involve drug, sex, rock and roll, and racism, politics, and religion kind of make their life, so I'm trying to make it a positive, uh, a positive suppository, I guess, because, you know, a lot of this stuff is shoved up in communism. So what more do you want to know? So I have a feeling, you know, they have groups like Arrogant Bastards. And they have different kinds of groups and settings with other meanings. You know, a lot of people won't even use the term. Um, they won't use the term bastard in such a way that it affects a race or somebody in per interpersonal like, say, a white bastard. You know, that's horrible. That's horrible. I should not say that. But, you know, Tom Brown was the first Ku Klux Klan member and back in the old days. He was known as the first white supremacist known to man to own the slave plantation back in the time of Winston Churchill. So Winston Churchill had Hill of Hoodoo, and his plantation was named Hoodoo Hill. And so I've heard things that saying that he was very kind to his slaves. He tried to do for them when it was very hard and it was very non-susceptible to do for them. And it's such a horrible time there was. So what do you think about Tom Brown? I don't know about Tom Brown. I think he was very nice to his people. That's why I said that, because it's, it's a terrible thing to say. It is a terrible thing to say. Actually, it's forbidden. I wonder if this if they'll even allow this video. But, um, you know, Tom Brown made his mark in history. said to Melinda Warren, you know, there's a, such a thing called the lead woman of the earth, which everybody considers Gaia. And Melinda Warren was also known as the lead woman of the earth. So what do you suppose about that? I say womanhood and sisterhood are a big part of the role to play in that because all this rambling is to just try to express my thoughts without hurting anybody and it's very hard because when arrogant bastards come into play usually it's a hard topic because nobody wants to utter a peep about it because they're scared they'll get in trouble well i'm kind of scared i'll get in trouble so i try not to open my mouth much when it comes to terrible racism slurs because not everybody wants to talk about any, talk about that anymore. Alex Jones tried to, and he got booted from YouTube. And, well, it wasn't racism he talked about. It's more like politics inside the uh, conglomeratory of BS that happens in the world that nobody knows about. So, I really feel as though what I said hit the nail on the money when it comes to white supremacist, KKK, things like that. So I don't, I'm not prejudiced. Sometimes I get offended by what people do and say. I'm not prejudiced towards anybody. Not even, you know, not even obligatories of different types of race of people. And I... I say, you know, not many people know about the white because, well, the only thing they care about is the Ku Klux Klan. Is there anything besides the Ku Klux Klan that they're known for? You know, because Winston did it all. Winston Churchill did it all. He painted. He wrote books. He acted. He smoked cigars. He had a good-looking charm about him. Just like Tom Brown. Tom Brown existed because he had to part to play a role in history that he had to show for himself with Melinda Warren. Now, Melinda Warren was also known in the series of Charm television. 
Charm Television is a magic Wicca hoodoo, and they talk a lot about Melinda Warren because she's apparently the lead witch of the earth. And so, with the lead woman of the earth and Gaia and all that stuff to bring back the world, so what do you say about that? <laughs> do you say possibly that maybe a whole conglomerate of race of people are more dominant than the others when they don't even know anything about their history with the gods. You know, there's an American God, there's a African American God, there's a white God, there's a black God, there's a Indonesian God, there is a, there's so many gods. It couldn't possibly be done with all the godship there is out there. I mean, <laughs> If the godmother of the gods hadn't done enough for her and her man in general, I wonder what's to become of our races in the future when everything becomes up to date and highly technology with ET, alienware, and all that other great stuff and hardware, ghostware. So what's what is this to you? Are you going to be able to step foot in front of the other foot outside with like how Emily Ottoman put in her song lyrics one foot in front of the other foot are you going to feel safe when people are going around rallying up there's no safe place no safe places on earth no safe place anywhere to go the only thing you can do is make the best of where you're at even if a tell in your life you have to make do with the best of where you're at or you're not going to make it <sighs> i'm sorry i have a runny nose i just had a starbucks coffee and uh, I have to clean my room after the air ventilation here gets turned back on. I have a horrible leak. I had a puddle of water on my carpet floor. And I have to wait till the repairman gets here because my air is dripping water. This is something new for me to go through. I've never had an air vent drip water. And it was like Aquaman snuck here in the night. And he has to go through my water heater in my bedroom. And so, I really just don't know what else to do except wait things out. And I have the fire pit on my TV. The fire pit. I love those things. The fire pit looks so pretty. But you know, the fire pit attracts the bad stuff. The good stuff, fire can heal. But in hell, it is hot in hell. Anyways, folks, I'll leave it on that note. Leave it off that note. And I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day.